So we need to check conditions here and see if we can use a chi-square test. The first thing I notice is 115 is a lot smaller than our previous sample of 540. So I'm a little worried about the large sample size condition. So let's check that. The sample size was only 115, so we need to calculate the expected cell counts. If we press STAT and ENTER, Here's our list, and we're going to type in all the percentages of each type of habitat for this mountain lion's territory. Now to calculate our expected cell counts, we're going to press over and then up, so list 2 is highlighted. This is our function bar, and we're going to say second 1, which accesses list 1. We're going to multiply that by 115, our sample size. So here's all of our expected cell counts, and that 2.3 is a problem. It's not 5. We need all our expected cell counts to be at least 5. So one of our expected cell counts is less than 5, so our sample is not large enough. So now we need a suggestion for the researchers. If the researchers combine shrubs and forest, the territory consists of 8.1% shrub forest habitat, which is the 2% of shrubs plus the 6.1% of forest. Now let's see what the expected cell count for this new shrub forest habitat would be. So we're going to take 8.1% of 115, and we get an expected count of 9.315. And that's good news, it's greater than 5. So this is called collapsing columns, and it's a great way to deal with the large sample size condition. If you like this video and want to learn more about chi-square test, check out this playlist. It covers all the basic chi-square test and helps you figure out which one to use.